Hi everybody. Hello. Today we're going to venture outside the bubble. We're going to travel down toward Orlando. Where are we going? Disney Springs. That's right. We're going to Disney Springs today. I figured that would be a cheap date. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> we're going to see what uh, what that place has to offer. We'll log the mileage, tell you how long it takes. We'll talk to you about the tolls and everything after we get finished. So right along with us, we appreciate it. We're going to have our number three son with us today. Yes. And uh, maybe we'll catch him a little bit on the video. So let's go. We're approaching Disney, as you can see. This is the entryway. Walt Disney World, where dreams come true. Of course, we're not going to Disney World. We're going to Disney Springs today. But I thought you might like to see that entrance. When I put Disney Springs into my navigation system on the car, it did not recognize it, so I set the car to come to Disney World because I figured it wouldn't be too far away. Well, after making that turn, you think you're pretty close to Disney World and to Disney Springs, but it's actually going to be at least six miles from that entryway. So over here we can see the monorails on the left and we're seeing parts of the park, but I guess uh, the places to park and Disney Springs are still a ways down the road here. Well, we made it. We're in the parking garage. It's free parking. A little bit of traffic the last five miles or so, but here we are. It took 62 miles, one hour and 11 minutes. That's from the southern part of the villages, the Brownwood area. Pretty smooth sailing. We did have to pay some tolls. I'm estimating it's about $6 each way. I don't think we're getting a good picture there, but uh, there you can see we are here. We're in the parking garage. We're in the lime green parking garage number three in Disney Springs. Let's go on into the park. Exiting the parking garage. Well, we're already in a store. Lots of bright colors. Very attractive place. I was hoping Disney Springs would be a uh, cheap date, but I'm afraid it's not going to turn out that way. everything in here for my granddaughter. Oh my gosh, this is a fantastic place. But the dresses are $60 a piece. <laughs> and the shoes are 30 That's the world of Disney we just came out of. Really neat store. There's the hot air balloon ride. It's tethered. They sell those rides. I kind of like to do that. Linda said absolutely no way will she do it. Amphitheater. Girardelli World of Chocolate. That's my number three son up ahead there. 
he's laying low. He doesn't want to be in the blog much. On leave from the Air Force, got to go back in two days. Great to see him. We haven't seen him for seven months. We're in the Marketplace Co-op. Don't really even know what's in here, but I do know it is a cool store, and I mean cool as in much cooler than the uh, 90 degrees outside. So they have some of their products displayed like animals in aquariums. I don't get that, but. Someone said that Disney Springs is like a huge shopping mall and I can definitely see that. There are some entertainment possibilities, but there are lots and lots and lots of things for sale. Some big old Tinker Toys. Once upon a toy. Mr. Buzz Lightyear. That is one big mushroom right there. This is a very Disney looking place. You can see the mountain in the background. There's that balloon getting ready to go up again over here on the right. Steamboat, the paddlefish. Here's the lagoon. I love these old cars. I remember when I was a kid, there was somebody that had one near us. Try to get a better shot of those. That is awesome. A car you can drive to work. You don't even need the bridge. Just they sell rides on these things here. That is so cool. This is quite a place. Now, it's hot here today. I said 90 degrees earlier. I don't think it's quite 90 degrees yet, but it's hot everywhere. Back in the Midwest, I saw today temperatures 102, 103, 104. Not quite that hot here, but we are on concrete and it could get pretty warm. Loving it here today. Linda says that's not for her. As you can see, it's not real crowded today. Today is a Friday and it's about noon. I did not realize it from across the lake, but this guy is made of Legos.
this is where a trip like this gets dangerous when she starts studying the toys. What you doing? T-Rex bar, that's a restaurant, it's very noisy, but look at these cool animals in here. Hamburgers start at $17.25 and I believe you can add you some fries onto that for about $5. Very, very cool looking place. Linda's finding more toys. Of course, this is not Disney World. It's not Epcot. This is uh, an area outside Disney Springs, like we've said. But look how cool everything is. I mean, they make it really visually appealing, just like their parks. Just like the villages. The boathouse, and that's where those amphibicars cars are coming in and out of the water. I'd like to find a place to eat where I don't have to uh, get a mortgage. I'm um, second mortgage on the house anyway. Here's one of these amphibic cars. They'll operate on land just fine, and then they'll roll into the water. They're watertight. You can paddle around. Let's see what's underneath. Propellers. And you can see they have a fleet of them. There's the captain of the Amphibicar fleet. We're in the Boathouse restaurant. Now, Linda's not feeling too good. You know, she's been under the weather. So, um, we're probably going to head home shortly after we eat here. Very tired. She's a little bit weak, but uh, it's a nice place. stage for entertainment overlooking the water. It's a Friday afternoon about uh, one o'clock so no entertainment yet. If you look out there you can see they have uh, a boat or a shuttle going back and forth with people.
This is a big place. Heading down toward uh, Marvel Superhero Headquarters, the Candy Cauldron, and Splitsville Luxury Lanes, a bowling alley. That's going to wrap it up from here at Disney Springs. Yeah. What'd you think of it? It was wonderful. It's pretty nice. It's large. We've walking around. We're on our way to the lime green lot. Now, I'd say we've walked a quarter mile already. You probably got another quarter mile to walk. It's a big circle. They do have transportation from one side of the lake to the other. We didn't take that. She's getting tired. It was fun. 62 miles. Did I say it was one hour and 11 minutes? Definitely worth doing, you think? Yeah, lots of shops and lots of places to eat. Right, and uh, we'll probably come back again when we get the grandkids, but that's it from here. We hope you enjoyed it. Bye. See you when you get here.